This value driver tree simulates a business operating across multiple geographical areas. At the top, we've got variables that affect the business either in different countries or overall. Example here of exchange rates can be changed to see what the impact is. And as the user changes that, you will immediately see how that impacts their profit. The user can drill down to any one of the underlying drivers and go and simulate a change, for instance, in sales. Reduction in 10% in sales will immediately go and affect the value driver tree both up to net profit as well as other items such as cost actually reducing. The reason for that is that the commission percentage is directly linked to the sales value. The commission is calculated as multiplying the sales value by the commission percentage. If we then increased commission percentage, we can see what the impact is on that. But it creates a more complex scenario because these are two different variables affecting commission. By clicking on the node, we can go down and see the waterfall diagram actually illustrating the contribution of each one of these factors, difference between the baseline and the simulation. And that makes it easier to understand what those compound effects are. Same way the user can affect any one of these expenses, for instance, reducing the rate, the rent being paid. But rent is something you may want to actually change for a specific set of months. In this example, we'll change this to a manual input, which allows us to capture month level values. If we had the opportunity to close an office for three months, we can zero out those specific months. And that will show us the impact, again, rolling up of closing the office for three months. Then it goes all the way back up to the net profit figure. You would go and create multiple scenarios, and you can actually go and compare these scenarios to each other. This report shows us the comparison of these different scenarios and what affects each one of them. You can then use this again to go and navigate to a different scenario. Same way at the top, we've got for each scenario what the different variables that were changed by the user. And the user has the ability to navigate around by clicking on that item to actually see where in the value driver tree that was changed. The user can also go and remove a specific item that they decide is not relevant. And that is how quickly a user can actually go create a scenario or create multiple scenarios and do the comparison between each 